Greetings and welcome to Wednesday evening prayer, a moment for us to come together as a dispersed community and take a collective breath. So I invite you now into a moment of silence for you to prepare your hearts and your minds and your bodies for worship together. Please follow along with the dialogue on the screen. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. And in this joyous Easter season, we proclaim the good news of Christ's resurrection. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We are illumined by the brightness of his rising. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Death has no more dominion over us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Please join me as we sing together the hymn of light. Joyous light of heavenly glory, loving glow of God's own face, you sing creation story, shine on every land and race. Now as evening falls around us, we shall raise our song to you. God of daybreak, God of shadows, come and light our hearts anew. Also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful, and you love your whole creation. And with your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Please join me in reading responsively the psalmody. I cry out to you, Lord, come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I cry out to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense. Let my uplifted hands be like the evening offering. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep close watch over the door that is my lips. Do not let my heart be turned toward evil things and keep me from the wicked ways of evildoers. But my eyes are fixed on you, my Lord God. I take refuge in you. Do not let me perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our message tonight comes from Lutheran theologian and pastor Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Dietrich Bonhoeffer was a pastor in Germany during the time of the Nazi regime. And Dietrich Bonhoeffer died under the command of Adolf Hitler in a concentration camp. And so these words tonight not only bring a message of peace, but also a message of contentment in one's own place that they find themselves. So listen to these words from Dietrich Bonhoeffer. There is no way to peace along the way of safety, for peace must be dared. It is itself the great venture and can never be safe. Peace is the opposite of security. To demand guarantees is to want to protect oneself. Peace means giving oneself completely to God's commandment, wanting no security, but in faith and obedience, laying the destiny of the nations in the hand of the Almighty God, not trying to direct it for selfish purposes. What do you think of when you think of what it is to be at peace? Some might say stillness, and others might say that in order to achieve peace, we must be silent and unmoving and immovable. However, peace may just be the opposite of stillness. Peace is instead the obedient and joyful movement we are called into by our loving God. Peace is the opposite of immovable. It is an entrance into the divine flow that encompasses all of creation. It is not the boulder that in the stream that the water moves around. It is the water itself. It is the divine dance of the Trinity that we are invited into. Think of when you have been most at peace. I know in moments where I try to create my own peace, to have it be quiet, to have no distractions, to have this little place in this one time where I just get that, you know, I need that peace in that time, it's not ever peaceful. Instead, it is usually filled with frustration and annoyance and distractions and shame in failing to create my own peace for myself. Peace usually does not come through our own control of a situation. Peace comes with entering the flow. Peace comes from being and staying in the present moment. Peace does not need quiet and stillness and solitude. Peace can be leaving yesterday and tomorrow's worries where they should be, yesterday and tomorrow, and entering into right now. For me, peace comes when I am at play. Peace comes when I am not trying to make this situation peaceful or to be in charge of it or to manufacture something that is supposed to be peaceful, but instead enjoying it for its own perfect goodness. I have witnessed some of this peace in Facebook posts from our Bethlehem families. In the midst of the craziness of working and school from home, they take time together to have bonfires, to play a goofy game, or to have a dance party in the kitchen. I have seen people taking the time right now to just bake something, or sew masks, or to collectively, as a whole group, look at all of these expectations that we have stacked so high for ourselves in this time we've been given, but instead responding with grace and love and patience for ourselves and for those around us when we get nowhere near what we expect that we should be able to do. Because this isn't time we have been given. This is time where we just need to be and take care of ourselves. Peace comes from God's love 
in this moment. Peace from God comes from entering into the flow of creation. Peace comes from giving up our own control and following the direction of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Peace means that we may not know how many twists and turns and loop-de-loops that we will be on in this journey, but we trust God in this moment to care for us, to give us our daily bread for what we need now. It is so hard to give up control. It is so hard to ask for help and to invite someone else in to a place where we have maybe built up our own walls to make it look like we are peaceful, to look like we have found our peace, but are really just hiding our own anxiety and insecurities. But the peace that we want, the peace that we need, the peace that passes all understanding comes from trust and obedience to God. And we find it in that loving embrace that always welcomes us when we hand over that control to our Heavenly Father. And so I would like to close with a prayer from Dietrich Bonhoeffer, one that he wrote for a prayer service when he was in the concentration camp for him and the other prisoners to use. Please hear these words. In me there is darkness, but with you there is light. I am lonely, but you do not leave me. I am feeble in heart, but with you there is help. I am restless, but with you there is peace. In me there is bitterness, but with you there is patience. I do not understand your ways, but you know the way for me. Lord Jesus Christ, you were poor and in distress, a captive and forsaken as I am. You know all man's troubles. You abide with me when all men fail me. You remember and seek me. It is your will that I should know you and turn to you. Lord, I hear your call and follow. Help me. Amen. Please join me in singing the hymn, my, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is, based off of that all too familiar psalm, Psalm 23. <laughs>
Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Please join me in singing our gospel canticle, the words of Mary in the Magnificat. that believes in the power of prayer. Please join me as we pray together for the church, the world, and all of those in need. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here and dispersed their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are essential workers and for those who are sick and suffering from COVID-19 and many other afflictions, and for those who are separated from loved ones due to physical distancing and quarantine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church and for this assembly, for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints. We commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to you, O Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go forth with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please take this blessing with you today. As you go on your way, may Christ go with you. May he go before you to show you the way. May he go behind you to encourage you, beside you to befriend you, above you to watch over, within you to give you Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. We miss you, we love you, and we wish you peace today and every day. Jesus loves you, and keep washing your hands. <laughs>